Hey YouTube, this is the Fragrance Guy here and I want to welcome you to my first episode of Sample Review. Now this episode is sponsored by Essence Nobile. Make sure to check them out in the video description below this video. And uh, they got a lot of different fragrances. Uh, a great library and uh, you can buy samples, you can buy skin products and other types of beauty products from their website and is it is essenza-nobile.de so uh, in this video i'm going to be talking about four different fragrances and they are amouage honor man zergeoff red hoba anigotal au hadrian and 80s divanustas signature now let's begin with amouage honor man now this is a beautiful pepper-based fragrance pink and black pepper the black pepper never takes over and it does not make you want to sneeze like some pepper based fragrances in other words this is not a dry pepper based fragrance that is what i uh, thought when i first heard that it was a pepper based fragrance and uh, when i smelled this it is so sophisticated it is so elegant and it has a um, creaminess to it now I would say that this is a woody incense pe uh, pepper type of fragrance. The, uh, the geranium and elemi adds freshness to this fragrance and combined with the nutmeg and musk, which gives, which gives it some creaminess to this fragrance. And that is crucial so it doesn't turn dry. The vetiver and cedar wood gives it a woody base and uh, it works perfectly with the pepper and the incense. Now, when I smell this, it... When I first smelled this, and even when I smell it now, it does give me some similarities to Tom Ford Oud Wood. Now, there's probably a, a small nuance in that fragrance, uh, and this one that reminds me of those fragrances. But if you already have Oud Wood and you get this, it's not going to be redundant. They are actually two different types of fragrances, and um, I really, really like this one. The notes are perfectly blended and it's a quite linear fragrance uh, <coughs> excuse me the tonka bean and patchouli which you will find in this fragrance makes it a bit sweet not gourmandish in any way but just more enjoyable and inviting um, so that's what I think of this fragrance it's a very very nice fragrance it's actually one of the best uh, samples that I got from uh, these here and I also have some other fragrances which I'm not going to be reviewing because it would take too much time but anyway if you like pepper based fragrances that are elegant I would say in this case very I mean you could wear this to a wedding you could wear this to work you could wear this casual um, I would say that it's a um, versatile type of fragrance and um, give it high remarks I really like it so let's move on to the next fragrance and that is let's see here this is um from the house of zergeoff this is red hoba and uh, first of all this is my own opinion and uh if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that i'm a, a zergeoff fanboy i absolutely love it when they get the fragrances right but this is not one of them. Now, I'll try to describe this fragrance for you. Imagine sitting around a campfire. You have some wet wood burning, creating some smoke. Then you throw in some cardamom and you top it off with a steak and some spices. Imagine capturing uh, the combined smell from that smoke, mixing it with some animalistic smell. And that's basically what I get. Now, it is a linear fragrance. Uh, the musk in this does settle after a while. Or maybe it's the orris. I'm not exactly sure. Or maybe it's those two notes combined. Um, it is a good blend. But overall, I find this fragrance to be quite weird. It's like they took two different fragrances, merged it into one, but they didn't really pull it off. Now... Maybe if they reduce the amount of musk or oris, uh, I'm not exactly sure which note it is, that just makes it weird. Now, if they did that, now maybe this fragrance would be a lot better because the notes, I love the notes that are in this fragrance. I just, I'm not a fan of the actual blend. 
So um, some people say that this is overly sweet. I don't really see that because I think that if they uh, rearranged the notes or maybe removed a note here and there, then the sweetness wouldn't actually be a problem. Now, I'm not saying that this is a bad fragrance. Uh, I'm just saying that this is not my kind of uh, fragrance. It was quite unexpected to find this in the Shooting Stars collection uh, because I don't find it to have the same DNA as the other fragrances. Now, maybe they were doing this on purpose. Maybe this is why the bottle is red and... Um, I don't know, maybe they tried something new, but if you're expecting something that's going to smell like the the other fragrances, I don't know, Neo, Kobe, Udon, I own those, then you're uh, going to be surprised. So um, to me, I'm not gonna give this a high remark. I'm not give, I'm gonna give this a high score. I mean, we're talking one and a half, two points out of five at most. And for 400 euros, Man, you gotta be kidding me. It ain't worth it in my eyes. So, guys, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think that, and I apologize to the house of Zerjoff, but if you wear this, I don't think you will ever get a compliment. It is so weird. Uh, not bad, just weird. And I don't know, man. This is, I was not a fan of this. And, uh, I think the problem is how how the notes are arranged. It has this sweet, animalistic, smoky smell, and it all comes together in a strange way. So for me, this is not going to be a buy, and um, it's going to be a pass for me. But I still love you guys. I still love the house of Zerjoff. Still going to be a customer, of course. And that's it. Now let's move on to our Hadrian. Oh, oh, Adrian, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, now, I'm going to be honest. I, I like this one. Uh, and when I first sprayed it on, the first thing that came to my mind was Aqua Viva from uh, the House of Perfumum Roma. And uh, the lemon is very similar. But this fragrance is more dynamic. It has... Uh, uh, let's see here. It has mandarin, ylang ylang, aldehydes, grapefruit, and it's a very, it's a dynamic fragrance. It happens more. It's probably a more elegant fragrance than Aqua Viva. Um, but the the lasting power on this, at least on my skin, isn't that good. So. I would probably go with Aqua Viva instead if I had to pick because they are similar now. Uh, Aqua Viva is a full blown citrus, linear, one thing going on. And if you like that, I do, then uh, I would rather go with this uh, with Aqua Viva. Now, if you want more elegance, then maybe this is a better pick for you. But uh, make sure to check out or try the longevity. I've heard some people complaining about it. Um, so this isn't as, uh, lemon juicy as Aqua Viva because it has other types of notes in it. Now it still is a gorgeous fragrance and uh, I do recommend checking it out. But, uh, for me, the problem with this fragrance was that it didn't really last, but boy, it's a gorgeous lemon mandarin, uh, type of mix. So check it out. Maybe... It's worth trying in the summer and seeing if it will last more on the skin. It might do. So let's move on to the last one. Now, I really, really like this one. Now, this is Adis Divinustas, and the fragrance is called Signature. Now, rhubarb is the main player in this, fra in this fragrance. And uh, for a few hours, the rhubarb is dominant. Then you got some other notes popping through, like the vetiver, a bit of incense, the hazelnut. Now, the hazelnut is uh, detectable in the beginning. It's not just as detectable as in the dry down. Now, I really, really like this one. I mean, if you're tired of citrus fragrances and uh, overly sweet, fruity fragrances like pulp, I do like pulp from Byredo, but... 
if, if you're tired of the regular, ordinary types of fresh scents, then you have to check out this one. Now, this opens up with a beautiful rhubarb that never turns sour or in, um, appalling in a way. It's more of a very fresh, mouth-watering type of rhubarb. And um, this has apple in it. And as I said earlier, it has uh, hazelnut, which gives it a sweetness. And uh, this is a tangy fruit fragrance with the greenness coming from uh, tomato leaves. It also has red berries. And uh, I'm not too familiar with red berries, but um, this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And uh, definitely check this one out if you like, if you want to check out other types of fruity fresh type of fragrances but you're tired of citruses and uh, this is a well well blended balanced fragrance and um, so far i haven't tried many rhubarb fragrances but i would say that this is probably the best on the market or one of the best and it's created by the master perfumer bertrand bertrand duchafour and um just a beautiful fragrance and yeah that's it guys uh, i hope you like this video let me know what you think in the comments below if you're not already a subscriber make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video that's it guys thanks for watching